You grew up to be the founder of this wretched time. So I plan to destroy your destiny. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. So if I'm Wilbur's dad... Keep going. Uh, if I'm Wilbur's dad... Yes, thank you, we've established that. Uh, but what does that have to do with you? Aha! Allow me to shed some light on the subject. <gasps> My old room. I think you mean our old room. What? Uh, yes, yes, it is I, Mike Yagubian! Ugh. I know, I'm disgusting, but one learns to love it. How'd you end up like this? Well, it's a long and pitiful story about a young boy with a dream, a dream of winning a Little League championship. A dream that was ruined in the last inning. We lost by one run because of me. Get him! If I hadn't fallen asleep, I would have caught the ball. And we would have won. Do you understand? For some reason, no one wanted to adopt me. Whiz Kid Cornelius Robinson graduates from college at age 14. This year's Nobel Prize goes to a young Cornelius Robinson. Hey, Goop, what's up? Cool binder. Hey, Goop, want to come over to my house today? They all hated me. Eventually, they closed down the orphanage and everyone left, except me. Cornelius Robinson rebuilds and bends. Robinson, new name. Cornelius Robinson. Robinson. Cornelius Robinson is no more. Oh, here's a, another It was then that I realized it wasn't my fault. It was yours. If you hadn't kept me up all night working on your stupid project, then I wouldn't have missed the catch. So, I devised a brilliant plan to get my revenge. Robinson! You stink! Then, just as I was on the brink of destroying Robinson Industries, I met her. We retreated to our villainous lair, where Doris spun a tale of deception and woe. Apparently, you invented her to be a helping hat, a slave to humankind. But Doris knew she was capable of so much more. <laughs> However, you didn't see her true potential. So you shut her down. Or so you thought. <laughs> we both had a score to settle with you. And while my plan for revenge was brilliant, Doris's was... Well, we went with Doris's. But I made a very, very important contribution. Together, we made the perfect team. I went to your house, snuck in the garage, and stole the time machine. All thanks to that pointy-haired little kid who forgot to lock the garage door. <laughs> and now all that's left is to return to Inventco, where I'll pass off your little gizmo as my own. But you have no idea what that could do to this future. I don't care. I just want to ruin your life. Goob, I had no idea. Shut up! And don't call me Goob! How many evil villains do you know who could pull off a name like Goob? Blech. Look, I'm sorry your life turned out so bad, but don't blame me. You messed it up yourself. You just focused on the bad stuff when all you had to do was let go of the past and keep moving forward. Hmm, let's see. Take responsibility for my own life or blame you. Ding, 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 ding! Blame you wins hands down! <laughs> This is going to be the best day of my life.